Hello patrons, happy Tuesday. I, oh, it's probably going to be Thursday when you're watching this. Happy Thursday or Saturday, it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to make two ingredient banana pancakes. So all you need is a frying pan, put a little butter in it, put it on medium heat on the stove. Obviously ask your mom or dad if you're not allowed to use the stove by yourself. You need a plate for your pancakes a spatula for flipping. And then the only two ingredients you need are two eggs, big eggs, large eggs, I would say, and one large banana. So first, I already broke these eggs, break two eggs into the bowl, and scramble them. You can use a whisk, I just use a fork. That's how they're nice. Just all mixed up and liquidy. And then this is my favorite part. You're going to mash the banana. So peel it and break it up into little chunks into your bowl. And put this aside. Hopefully you have a compost or trash can nearby that you can just throw this out. And then you're going to take your same fork and just mash it. Mash it really well. And if you feel mad about something, you can think about the thing you feel mad about and just mash up the banana. And the riper the banana is, so the browner the peel is, the easier it's going to be to mash it up. And once it's pretty mashed up, you're going to mix it together with your egg. like a regular batter, so kind of liquidy. And if there are chunks of banana, that's okay. I like them. And you can add chocolate chips, you can add nuts, you can add fruit, you can add whatever you like. You could add oats, oatmeal pancakes would be good, but I like to keep it nice and simple, just two ingredients, eggs and banana. So I'm not adding chocolate chips or nuts or fruit, but I am gonna add a little bit of cinnamon because I love cinnamon. And mix it up, mix it up. Kind of looks like banana pudding when you mix it up like this. And then I am going to pour just a little bit into my frying pan. It's easier to flip the pancakes if they're kind of small. So you just pour a little bit. And sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. You wait until you can really see the edges come up a little bit so you know that the bottom side is crispy and a little bit brown, and then we're gonna flip it. So fingers crossed that it doesn't fall apart, but if it does fall apart, that's okay, because it's still delicious. So we're just gonna give it a little minute here. And while you wait, you can sing a song, you can do a dance, you can ask somebody a question, you can make up a poem. Hmm. Okay, now I think it's almost time to flip it. Get a little closer and we're gonna see I think it's almost ready, so let's see. And it's hard, but we did it! Awesome. So now we're gonna wait for this side to get a little bit brown. This is my first pancake, as you can see, not brown enough. I 
didn't wait long enough to flip it. So that one's kind of a bonus pancake that we're not gonna think too hard about. But I might brown it a little more later. Okay. So you're gonna get a plate. You might need a couple plates if you're sharing. it one more time let's see beautiful let's get a little brown and we're gonna put it right on our plate and you can put maple syrup on it you can put jam on it you can put more butter on it whatever you like So thanks for making two ingredient banana pancakes with me and let us know if you have any questions or send us pictures of your amazing pancakes that you're making and I hope they're delicious and I hope you have a good day. See you later patrons.